Do you have a mobile and want to start making games? You've reached the correct place. Nowadays, you don't need an overpriced PC to develop games with just your mobile is enough thanks to Godot. So, in this guide, I'll show you how to get started in Godot Mobile, going from downloading it to creating your first working game. Again, everything from your hand, from your phone. Now, let's start. So, firstly, let's go to the Google Play Store, and here we are gonna look for Godot. Then here, as you can see, two options will appear, Godot Editor 3 and Godot Editor 4. So, to download Godot, we can just click on the fourth version, click here Install, and we are just gonna wait a couple of seconds until everything is downloaded. As you can see, it's not a heavy application, so as you can see, with just 5-6 seconds, we can start using Godot in our mobile. Okay, so now that everything is okay, let's click here Open. As soon as we open it, as you can see, it tells us to give it all file access. This is a mandatory step as you are going to be creating some files. So let's click right here and then we can just click on this back arrow. Okay, let's just close this window and everything is now okay to start creating our games. Let's click here where it says new project. Here we can give it a name. In this, in this case, I'm going to just name it quick guide. Okay, you can select a project path. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to here create a new folder. Then you don't change here the renderer and click create and edit. Okay, now that Godot is opened, I want to clarify you something. As you can see here, I'm mirroring my phone device into my PC. This is just firstly to be able to actually record the screen and also because here I'm going to be able to actually use my mouse and my keyboard. But everything that I do here is going to be able to do, uh, you are going to be able to do it in your phone using just your hands, okay? So, uh, the interface, as you can see, is quite intuitive. Firstly, we can change between the 2D and 3D mode. We also have here the, the window where we will write uh, later on our code. Also have here the asset library. In this window right here, we are going to be creating all of our nodes. These are all the game objects that our game will be containing. Also the file system where we can see all of our files. As you can see, it's currently empty. But as soon as we create a scene or a script or literally anything, it will appear right here. Also, we have some other windows, for example, the inspector, where we can modify some components and properties of the game objects or here called nodes. And also we can see some other options like node and history that we are going to be using uh, later. So as this is just a quick guide, let's go to actually creating our first scene. So let's uh, click here create here a user interface this will create a control node that is used in order to display ui correctly you can rename this node by just double pressing on it as you can see and well here i'm just gonna write main okay now i'm gonna save this scene going to scene save scene save Okay, and now let's start creating some other nodes that we are going to be using. Firstly, uh, select okay the main node, click here the Add button, and here look for Label. Label, as you can see, is used for displaying plain text. That's exactly what we are looking for right now. So, uh, let's rename this label to something like Score Label. Okay, as you can see, these um, orange dots appear. So uh, we're gonna click on this button right here that, as you can see, is the anchor preset. And we're gonna choose this one, okay, this preset. Then we're gonna do it, uh, we're gonna change a little bit its size, maybe like this. And here we can write some text. For example, as you can see, hello. Okay and the text will appear right here. But as you can see, the alignment is not good, so let's center it horizontally and vertically. Now, it's a little bit too small, so let's scroll down a little bit. Theme overrides, font sizes, check here, 
and we are gonna give it um a size of maybe 40 let's try it okay yes 40 seems okay for me and well the text is not actually gonna be hello at the beginning it's just gonna be zero because uh, this is gonna be our score label so initially our score will be zero okay like this perfect now we are we are gonna center it so let's click here again uh, and center it okay that's perfect now we can also make it a little bit wider like this center it again okay and now it's completely perfect other note that we are gonna need here is actually a button okay right here button here the text will be one plus because with this button we are gonna increase our score by one let's move it down here and then we can make it a little bit bigger using these dots okay again move it right here we can also use here the move tool this one is the move tool and here we can move it up like this also maybe the font is a little bit small so again we can modify it doing the exact same process that we did before so let's give it 15 for example okay yeah it seems fine for me finally we will also need other label in this case this is gonna be our title okay that is gonna be that the aim in this case is 10 for example basically what we're gonna be doing here is we want to create here an aim in this case 10 and when we reach that aim in this case 10 okay by pressing here and increasing our score we will do something that will be the actual game of the game so again let's override the font size and let's give it here i i don't know 50 maybe okay yeah that looks fine uh, let's move it right here then move it down like this okay and now that our scene is completely fine let's click here play select current wait a couple of seconds okay and as you can see everything works just fine and well how do you come back without actually having to close quizzes and everything you just uh, click the back arrow in your phone you wait a couple of seconds and everything is just fine so let's actually get here to code in our main node we're gonna select it click here this icon that is to create a script we're gonna be creating here an empty script click here create and well as you can see here we have an empty script so what we are gonna be doing here is firstly select our button go here to the node window and select here pressed okay then here uh, select connect and here connect again so basically this creates a function that is gonna be called whenever we press our button let's try this out by printing a message basically what printing does is showing a message on the console so uh, let's print here subscribe that is what you should do right now if you want more tutorials now we are gonna play and i'm gonna press this uh, button three times okay one two and three then i'm gonna just come back and as you can see i have three subscribe messages so that means that everything is working fine now here in the code i'm gonna be creating um some variables well the first variable is going to be my score variable that at the beginning is going to be zero a variable is basically a value that is going to be stored as we play and this variable as well um, the name says it can be modified it can be variable so when we press the button we want to increase our score by one okay then after increasing it by one we want to grab our score label we use the dollar symbol we want to modify is it text to be equal to our score okay and why do we use here the keyword str because this variable stores an integer 0 1 2 3 etc and the text stores strings 
okay so we have to convert this integer into a string in order to be used into a text property so when we click play we can here start pressing our button as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and we can continue like this with no end now do you remember that here initially we have set an aim well that aim actually is doing nothing right now so let's create here another variable that is going to be aim in this case it's going to be 10. so after increasing and updating our value firstly we will need one more label okay so i'm gonna click here the main node then here add label okay create then here this is gonna be win label because it's the label that will be shown when we win okay here the text will be win with an exclamation mark why not and this is gonna be like in the center of the screen but firstly let's align it correctly uh, maybe we should also make it a little bit bigger so we are here font sizes give it i don't know 40 okay perfect and then um let's move it up a little bit using again the move tool okay and we don't want this message this message of win uh, to be shown as soon as we started playing because it would make no sense so let's actually here using this eye icon just i uh, hide it and then here we're gonna check using an an if statement if like this our score is equal to 10 okay we're gonna grab our win label and we're gonna show it okay and also, as I don't want to continue increasing my score, I'm going to grab my button and I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to actually hide it. Hidden equal true. But before everything, let's here replace this 10 using our actually aim variable. That as you can see, it actually stores a 10. So it's exactly the same thing, but well, it's just using again variables. And here is actually hide, not hidden, okay? Now let's click play. And here we can click this button until we reach the aim, that is 10. And when, I, when we reach the 10, as you can see, win and the button uh, is not shown. So everything is working just fine. Of course, this is a super, super basic tutorial. Uh, but here actually you learn basic, basically variables, how they are used some functions and signals because this is actually a signal as you can see signals okay uh, conditions some methods like show hide uh, you also learn how to convert an int into a string in order to be used in a text you learn some things about the hierarchy system that we don't use but of course this is just one very small thing that you can learn in game development so if you want to learn more about Goodot, I'd really encourage you to go to this playlist that the link is down below, uh, where you'll find, as you can see, two full courses about game development in Goodot, even using your mobile, as this one. As you can see, this one is a second course, okay, that is one hour and 30 minutes, and this one is just 40 minutes, as you can see. So you should start right here, and then you can go to this one right here i will leave the, in the description the links to uh, this complete playlist and also for this uh, two separated courses that you should watch should you sell your pc and start game developing in your phone with goodot mobile definitely not although goodot mobile is quite stable nowadays and with it you are able to prototype on the go it has some limitations as it sometimes crashes or you can't actually in a lot of devices create 3d projects also it has the limitations of just being a phone small screen annoying touch input etc anyway what do you think about this version if you liked this video please subscribe to the channel for more content see you in the next one and bye bye